Aloha friends, how are you guys? I have missed you, so I have another Scentsy video and this time it's the what I have been warming. I've been telling you guys I'm gonna make this video, but you know, I'm so, um, I got a lot of kids. So they keep me occupied, but just to show you guys, I don't know if I can, it's stacked up. I have this, I have my little basket and then and then I'm just bringing it over. I have all this, okay, to show you guys. So I have it per category, so I hope I don't mess that up. But how are you, friends? I have missed you. I do apologize for not making my Scentsy videos. Um, I've been just doing uh, vlogs, and vlogs is just to, to keep you guys updated on what I have been doing. So I have to make sure I'm, I'm at an angle because otherwise you guys are going to see a bright light, which is my um, light for my studio. But um, yeah, I've just been doing vlogs and I really miss doing my Sensi videos with you guys. I have a haul as well. That was from uh, the holiday collection. And then I'm using my phone because you guys, I told you in one of my vlogs that uh, the camera I usually um, use for my videos has um, passed on. I've had that camera for like 10 years. So with that being said, I do have this video to show you guys, which is what I have been warming. So I'm gonna start off with this little basket. I tend to put my empties in here, but um, just piled it up. So first off, I'm gonna put um, show you guys the Blue Grotto. Blue Grotto is uh, one of the, um, the Scentsy bars that my bestie had given me when we went to Disneyland. And so within the past few days, I have been melting this into the bathroom and oh my goodness, I love it. So I want to get more. Blue Grotto has been a favorite uh, with my customers and it smells, if you like that tropical scent, um, clean, refreshing, but not overpoweringly strong, you're gonna love Blue Grotto. So can't believe I'm, I'm late on that one of loving it, but that is what is currently melting in my bathroom. Just to get away from that holiday scent um, bathroom, I tend to um, have like a refreshing, um, like I like citrusy scents into the bathroom. I don't want deep spices because it is a small confined room. It's a powder room downstairs. All right. And then what I have been warming for fall and winter, okay? So I went into honey, um, honey pear cider towards the early fall and I, Oh, I melted this, oh my gosh, all the way up until like last week because honey pear cider is a very, um, it's a very uh, fall favorite for me because it has that spices note to it, but it also, it also has, uh, I, I can't, Hmm, I can't put my finger on it, but I do have my catalog, so I am going to look that one up. Honey pear cider. Okay, honey, okay, here we go. Honey pear cider is the scent of pure autumn bliss, freshly juicy pear and sweet honey together with subtle hints of spices. It's the honey. It's the honey, I think, that makes it like, it's sweet, but then it has that pear, like the, like the brown pear. Is it the anjo pear? Um, and then the spices. So I, this is one of my fall favorites. This one... And then I don't know if I have it here, but like cider mill, um, honey pear cider, cider mill, and then um, apples and cinnamon sticks are my three favorites for the fall. Vanilla bean buttercream. Oh, I like this. I like this when, um, when I'm cleaning my bedroom. After I clean it, I like to put on a, a brand new fresh scent. And I tend to go to either a very lemony scent or one of this, the vanilla bean buttercream because it's just pure vanilla. It's just a vanilla scent. It's one of my favorites, and you guys um, you guys know that already if you've been uh, with me for a while. Okay, so I'm gonna skip on that, the Christmas one, until I get through. All right, cranberry mango. This one is an empty. This one is a bring back my bar, so they no longer have this one. This is a retired scent, and when, um, when I used to just be a, a, a customer for my bestie, she was my consultant. I ordered like, I think 10 of these and I finally just went through my last bar. Cranberry mango is, it's a similar scent to like sweet plum pastry. So it has that sweetness note to it, but then it has a burnt, 
note to it as well. So some people like it, some people don't. But if you like it, it's because you're very attracted to the, the sweetness of the mango, but then there's that, that hint of the cranberry note at the very end that gives it that little burnt smell. So that's what I liked about that. So that's my last one. So I'm hoping, bring back my bar is coming back January and we already have the, the scents that we know are coming out because we have both. Sorry friends, that was Lola. I have a date with Lola later on. Um, what was I saying? Okay, cranberry mango. Next, um, let's see. Oh, I went through a watermelon wave. Like I said, I like to put this into the bathroom and also the kids' room. So kids' rooms, they don't like the spices. I gotta go like this to my neck, guys, because I apparently you can see my double chin in here. I'm going to my keto diet starting tomorrow, August 1st. When is August 1st? Saturday? Okay, but anywho, Watermelon Wave was our scent of the month, I believe, I don't know, June? Maybe June? So I stocked up on that, I really like that, but it's a nice refreshing scent for the girls' room, okay? Away from the holiday spices. Vanilla Mint, I, I am loving Vanilla Mint. I didn't really like it when it came out as a scent of the month, January, well I liked it, but I'm not too much into like the peppermint, but this guy, mm, this guy, this guy's is just, I love it. Um, I really, really love it. So I'm not even sure if it's, oh yeah, it is. It's on the holiday uh, collection. So I think I'm gonna stock up a few more. I do still have like five bars, but vanilla mint is not just a peppermint smell. Um, it's winter green frost sparkles over vanilla and frozen citrus. So it's just that perfect minty um, scent for me and it's perfect for the living room because it, one cube, you guys know I'm very stingy. I am very stingy with my bars, okay? So I only put one cube. I don't care if it's something like that to where if you guys see the background, that is, um, I, I, I don't know, up the chimney, that's the Santa boots that was available last year and that has like a huge dish. I put one. <laughs> one bar a uh, one cube one cube because i know one cube will last me a full day if i have it on ongoing and i won't be disappointed and sometimes it lasts two even three days and then i'm completely happy with that and then i just change it around and so that i have multiple warmers throughout my home i don't want to change them all at once so then i kind of go around <laughs> i have a system okay because when i have one i have them on I have them on multiple ones. I have I have my Sensi warmers on throughout my home, but I don't change them out every day. So I go through a system because then sometimes I just use it to beautify the home because it's lighted up, it's pretty to look at, and it's part of my decor. I have so many Sensi warmers that it has become to be part of my home decor. So last night I cleaned, I stayed up until two o'clock in the morning, I dusted, I cleaned, I, I changed my, my Scentsy warmers. So currently over here, I have um, a scent, a brand new scent, and then in the living room, I have a brand new scent from last night, and then three other warmers are still on, but I did not change that scent last night. So I'm gonna change those uh, two other scent tomorrow so that it kind of changes every day for me so I don't smell the same smell and I don't smell the same smell throughout the home kind of thing. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I'm, I'm doing. So vanilla mint is a favorite for me. I love it. It's a good minty scent without it being overpowering with um, peppermint. Okay, I do have this one and yes, it's not a scentsy, but that's okay because I love to have my home smelling good and if it's another product I don't mind showing it to you guys because I'm real it's not just about selling Scentsy with me it's it's about real so I tried these from Bath and Body Works last year when they had 75% off um and to be honest this is my most favorite one everything else I it was okay it was okay because normally it's four dollars and fifty cents for these four cubes, right, compared to six dollars for these um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight cubes. So there goes the, there goes the, um, what do you call that, the monetary budget comparison. 
okay but the only thing i really like is the lemon cello because i do like my citrus scent this one reminds me of starburst lemon lemon starburst this very nice lemony sorbet it reminds me of um of sensi lemon sorbet almost okay and speaking of that i do have pineapple sorbet in here i i just did one because like I said, it's like I love the I love the fall scents and the winter scents, but sometimes I it, it gets too much for me. Like okay, I'm too much. It's too much day in day in day in day out kind of thing. So then in my bedroom, only in my bedroom because these are light scents. So whenever we have light scents, this one and then watermelon wave, um, a lot of consultants complain like oh they're so light you know they're not strong enough if it's light there's nothing we can do it's a light scent because a lot of like this is pineapple pineapple scent it's never an overpowering scent in my opinion so it's always light and that's the nice thing about that is when you want that citrusy light scent but put it into a bathroom put it into an office put it into a bedroom where you can really enjoy that scent for the lasting of eight hours compared to putting one cube that I normally do into an open space like this one or my open concept living room. This will never really work on a, a full eight hours for me into my open concept living room because the smell, the, the light scent has to distribute into such a big space that you can only hon honestly smell it if, it's your, if you're very close to it, if you're sitting down watching TV. If that's okay for you, yeah, that's fine, that's okay. But if you know that the scent is light, you know what? Don't put it into a big open space. Live in the bathroom or an office. I put my, um, I put, like this one, I put my Scentsy warmer in my bedroom right by my, bed my bedside. So then that way I can really, um, I can really take in the, 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 the scent that I'm putting in there. So I got that one just to get out of the seasonal seasonal scents and then also rainbows and butterflies so rainbows and butterflies was our um our scent and warmer of the month for july with that unicorn that unicorn warmer has now sold out even though you know sometimes i tell you guys when i have my haul the the warmers last for six months even the scent but if we run out we run out so we ran out of that warmer within the first month and it's this is okay for me i tend to put this into the girls's room so this one and this one i was putting into the girls' room throughout um the month of september october november <laughs> it's okay it's not one of my favorites i can be without it i it's just it didn't do so much for me it, to me it, it smells like unicorn throw up i just it's okay I have so much of it, I don't mind uh, melting it, but, you know, it's not one of my faves. But one of my faves is, for the fall, is gingerbread donut. I actually melt this throughout the year. It's, oh, it's nice. Okay, it's nice. It's, it spices, um, it spices, and it's a perfect fall, fall scent. But like I said, for me, it's a very, it, this is a good scent to put into my open concept living room for one cube. I will smell this into the living room, going up the stairs and into my kitchen with one cube. So this is why this is one of my favorites. It's very, um, not necessarily strong. It just gives out a nice throw to where it also lasts more than eight hours, okay? And my other favorite for the fall was um, apples and cinnamon sticks. This one, if you if you like that cinnamon cinnamon scent, but then it has that hint of apple, I love this. I'm actually going to order more of this before the catalog runs out because this is the catalog that started in September that will last all the way to the end of February and then we come out with a March 1st of spring and summer. So I don't know if this is going to come back next fall, but just to make sure that I do have, you know, something to last me for a few seasons, I will stock up on a, a few bars of this one because this is a very nice, perfect fall scent. This one along with... Um, honey pear cider and then cider meal i'll be good um for the september october uh, november month okay so that's done and then okay and then these are just my odd ones white tea and cactus again is a nice bathroom scent for me in a bedroom and then sometimes i'll put it also into the living room to just 
again to refresh my nose and my family's nose out of the spices for the holiday because it you know the the holiday scent there's so many spices so much strong scent that sometimes you know it gets to be a little bit too much oh this is so good this is this is a classic for me white tea and cactus it's a very like spa um spa feel sorry okay butter pecan oh my gosh when i went to disneyland i stayed with my bestie um another sensi consultant and she gave me like five of these because she didn't care so much for it. she goes i don't know it's just it was just too much for me something pecan or i loved it i love it it's one of my favorites so i have my i have my bars from my um my scent of the month that i show you guys plus i have five of hers it's good I i'm good for that one Okay, butter pecan. If you like bakery scent, sweet buttery scent, like the vanilla bean buttercream, you're gonna like um, butter pecan. Okay, hug in a mug. Okay, actually Jonathan has another one in his room. He has to have his own. <laughs> he only changes um, it and then he just puts the hug in a mug. It's his go-to scent. It smells like hot chocolate. So actually Danny was like, can I just have hug in a mug next time? So hug in a mug. It came out last year. It's it's a favorite. It's it's a go-to fall and winter scent. It it's from fall all the way to winter because it just smells like hot chocolate. Hot chocolate with marshmallows. So that's a really good one. Um, the kids like that one. Your leather is a nice manly scent. So hubby currently has this in his office, and it's just it's a nice um, it, it's a nice powerful scent. Uh, for a man's um, office or the boy's um, bedroom or bathroom or billard room, if you have a billard room. <laughs> I, I just consider this a manly scent, but it's a really nice one too. So, but if you like that kind of like um, a little bit of like that manly scent, it's good to put into the living room as well because it does, um, it does have a strong throw to it, okay? And then, of course, again, more friends, all these notifications. Um, because I said, you know, like I said earlier, it's like sometimes all these holiday scents is just too much. I broke out the Passion Fruit Colada, which was last, I believe it was last year. La no, not this spring and summer, last spring and summer. And see how sometimes your bars sweat. And it's winter here, but it's still sweating. So I don't like that when it when that happens. I'm a very perfectionist kind of person. I have to make like things seem be pretty. But I don't like it when that happens. But still, it doesn't affect the the um the performance of it. It's a light scent. Again, it's it's just like the um the rainbows and butterflies and you know pineapple survey. Just put it into a small room and then you'll be good to go for eight hours. Banana nut bread. I went through this. Uh, it smells like banana nut bread oh my gosh and then again though with this one if you want to put it into your kitchen or living room if you don't have i had two warmers so i had one on each and then i had them on at the same time and it really gave it a nice um banana nut bread smell into my kitchen from the kitchen to the dining room towards the door so i really like that one apricot vanilla i'm so bummed this is my last last cube so i'm really like holding off on, on it until like I put it into my bedroom because then it's a small confined space. And then when I, I want to feel like a, a relaxing mode um, after cleaning, I know. I feel relaxed after I clean. I don't know. That's just me. But I'm waiting for a perfect moment to, to melt this very last one. This is special. Okay. And for this one, all right, the these are my winter scents. So Snickerdoodle, Saint Snickerdoodle came as um, the holiday, I think it was four or five pack for the holiday. We always have one during the holiday. So this one was last year. So I believe it was the Blue Christmas, the Tinsel, Cranberry and Tinsel, the Snickerdoodle, the Sugar Bells, and then the, is it Wassail Wonderland? Okay, so Wassail Wonderland is currently melting into my kitchen. I love it. It has an orange note to it, like a blood orange, something something orange, not a navel orange. Maybe it is a navel orange, but um, it has that. And then it has like a fern to it. It's like, uh, it's like, and then it's not the regular fern of the Pacific Northwest. I wanna say it's a European fern. I don't know why, I, I remember there's a, 
there's a scent there's a holiday scent that's a special fern maybe scandinavian fern i don't know but it's a european fern mixed with orange note to it that just makes it a perfect oh my gosh perfect winter orangey scent i love it so i only have a limited supply with um, this one so i don't give them away not even as a sample so sorry this one i really love it i hope i was hoping like um the bricks came came out with blue christmas and blue christmas was part of this i wish that this one came out with a brick oh my gosh i would be in heaven the other one was a saint snickerdoodle and it smells like snickerdoodle oh it's sweet it's sweet and spices and it smells like a snickerdoodle cookie i i have a few of these but maybe three or four and that's it so again i'm kind of like hoarding it sugar bells ah oh, sugar bells is just pure sugar sweetness it's it's again it's it has a nice scent but it's more of a bakery note it has spices to it but a lot of sweetness to it so i really like that one as well i really like those and then our scent of the month for, we got it early as a consultant for the month of November, but it is available for customers for the month of December. So our scent of the month is Christmas Cuddles and I do have the, the flyer. So I'm not gonna be able to make a video, but this is our um, warmer of the month available starting December 1st. And then our scent, um, it's called enjoy this month special at a 10 percent discount solitude warmer is going to be 36 dollars which was um which is going to be 10 percent off christmas cuddles is going to be 270 christmas cuddles um circle and then sensi bar is going to be 540 and then the room spray 720 because they're all going to be um 10 percent off but christmas cuddles sensi bar is um indulge it says indulge indulgent caramel and bourbon vanilla are spiced with cinnamon and clove for the ultimate holiday hug i love the the name christmas cuddles but i was disappointed with the smell i think holiday hug maybe maybe they tried to combine hug in a mug now that i that i didn't read it before maybe they combine hugging a mug with cloves and vanilla spice maybe because it didn't because now i can smell that hugging a mug note to the back to the back end but i think it's because of that all that spices with it i didn't agree with it too much so that's that all right let's talk about what I am melting as far as using my bricks. Cause you guys know I live for Scentsy Bricks. Okay, my favorite um, scent on the bricks right now, one of my favorites is Holiday Spruce. And I only opened this come mid-November and look, I've already gone through one, two, three. I love this scent. It's a perfect Christmas scent. It's got the note of the, the Christmas tree scent, the outdoors the spices but not overpowering like that ice pine i don't i don't care so much for ice pine it's just this one is a perfect holiday um uh, uh pine scent for me okay and then the new bricks that came out oh my god this smells so good oh i love this so i think i bought two of these which is enough for me but to be honest if i'm gonna place another order it's gonna be two more of these because this i feel like i can melt year round it's a berry note it's blizzard berry it's just it's just a sweet not too sweet but it's a perfect berry christmas set so i love that this one was cinnamon chai latte it came out last year that's how much i love it and i did buy a couple of these and it's currently melting in here i love it it's got the it's it smells like chai spices and everything and it's just it's just it warms up the house so even though it's cold when you're melting this it's like you got a nice blanket and a cup of um coffee or tea um with you this one um silver bells oh my gosh i should have gotten two of these because this is a very nice um clean um not i don't want to say peppermint mint smell it's light mint it's not overpowering it doesn't hurt your nose it doesn't consume you it's a very nice light mint smell it's perfect 
Okay, Christmas cottage, I went through three cubes um, since last year and then this year. I do like it, that's Danica calling me, I'm kind of rushing this. And then cinnamon bear, so cinnamon bear is very cinnamony. It's just like red hot. So I um, I went through um, a few of that. So what I do with my cube is that I, you know, I, I move it around until one pops out and then um, I cut it in four. So I cut it in half and then I cut it in half again. So it gives me these little nice um, squares and that's like one cube into a, um, into a warmer pro for me and this with this scent actually lasts me two or three days uh with one one cube and that is with like i mentioned breaking it apart and then cutting this into four pieces okay so i got all those and then for the for my sensi go i went through a blueberry cheesecake you guys know i love my blueberry cheesecake and then for my diffuser i went through a couple of oils vanilla nutmeg uh cardamom this was part of my flash sale that i think i've got like three or five five oils for maybe five dollars so it was a dollar a piece you cannot beat that during flash sale so when we have a flash sale friends it's it's good to just take a look at it even though you're like i don't want to buy anything because when you have you know these little ones for like a dollar a piece into a pack and they were a surprise it's totally worth it hi my love come over here my love she just woke up i'm doing this at eight o'clock in the morning okay so ginger orange i went through that as well it was a very nice um fall scent for me for my diffuser she just rolled her eyes at me and then i went through a bottle of hopscotch butterscotch during the flash sale that just happened i want to say october was it october or november um i bought five of these okay so i went um through my last bottle of the last time so i still got five to go so i really really love this this is one of my favorite scentsy oils it's just a nice refreshing sweet scent for me um, other than that, friends, that's it. That's what I have been melting. I have been melting for the, you know, the, the fall months and now going towards the winter. For the winter, I'm concentrating on my bricks. I really want to use that. And then also uh, my holiday scent from, uh, from last year. And then I do have a video coming up of the... And then I do have another video coming up that I'm hoping I can film maybe tonight before I do stuff with the family of the new um, uh, collection, winter collection. That's um, six. I think there's five of them for for 2018. And that one is, I believe, it's, it's European. I believe it's called Huga Huga Collection. So I just got that delivered, and I would definitely want to share that with you. But it's also available on the website. Under, it's on my website, uh, Simply Simple Scent under specials click on that one and then it'll show you all the bricks that we still have which is um like i said the there's i believe five with um five five bricks if i'm not mistaken then it has the christmas uh, new collection which is the hugga collection and then it has the holiday um holiday warmers that we still currently have some of them have sold out so do check that out um again look forward for my next video as always thank you guys for visiting a simply simple life mahalo